AI, artificial intelligence. You can use it for self-driving cars. You can use it to play a game against a computer. Or in this case, you can use it to have a conversation. This is chat GPT. I am a huge technology person and I have been seeing a lot of videos on this. Basically, you can ask it questions or you can uh, have it write stuff out for you. Um, or just, what, I, I don't even know what the limits of this are, but you know, I, I'm thinking with all of these other great ideas and what AI can be possibly used for, um, I feel like I need to make my mark and uh, ask it questions about school buses. <laughs> So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Uh, I, I'm just going to ask it questions about school buses, see what it gets right, what it gets wrong. Um, I, I'm just genuinely curious to see um, how this turns out. So like I said, this is called ChatGPT. Um, you can sign up for free. It's I, I've already messed with it a little bit, but not too much. But basically, you can just type in something down here. So for example, uh, explain quantum computing in simple terms. So... And then we'll hit send and it will type out what quantum computing is. If you're curious, you can ask it this or really anything else. So let's just start with something simple. What is a school bus? A school bus is a type of bus specifically designed and built to transport children to and from school in many parts of the world, school buses are an important means of transportation for children who live too far away from their schools to walk or ride a bike. School buses are usually bright colored and have specialized safety features such as flashing lights and stop signs to help protect children who ride on them. That's honestly a really good way to explain what a, what a school bus is. Um, so, okay, we're off to a good start. Maybe let's ask it, why are school buses yellow? School buses are often painted yellow for several reasons. The most important reason is visibility. Yellow is a very noticeable color, especially in low light conditions, so it helps other drivers on the road see the bus. This can help prevent accidents, especially at busy intersections or when the bus is picking up or dropping off children. Additionally, yellow is often associated with caution, so it can help remind other drivers to be more careful around the bus. Finally, yellow is a cheerful color which can help create a positive atmosphere on the bus. Okay, I've never heard that one before, so um, that that's very questionable. I've, I've never associated, um, even, even me, as a school bus enthusiast, a, a yellow school bus being a, a positive atmosphere, like just because it's yellow? So that that's odd that it threw it in there. Maybe I, I can see why you would maybe associate a singular color um, with the feeling of positivity, um, but then throwing it on the bus and like, oh yeah, you know, you, you know, I think I think we should make the bus yellow because you know it's it's easy to see and um, you know uh, caution and that it, it, it's a positive color like. Okay, so maybe uh, dock off a point for that because that's kind of a, a weird answer. Here's something anyone can Google. Who created school bus yellow? The specific origin for the use of the color school bus yellow for school buses is not well documented. Actually, it kind of is. However, the use of yellow for school buses became widespread in North America in the 1940s and 50s. This was likely because yellow was found to be a highly visible color that could help other drivers on the road see the bus, especially in low light conditions. Over time, the use of yellow for school buses has become a standard practice in many parts of the world. Honestly, I'm surprised that it didn't pick that one up because it is known who created school bus yellow. Dr. Frank Sear uh, led the, uh, the, the, the conversation on it creating a unified color and that color being yellow so if, if i can search that into google like i said i'm honestly surprised that uh the ai bot didn't pick that up why are there rub rails on school buses 
Rub rails, also known as rub stripes or impact strips, are strips of rubber or plastic that are attached to the side of a school bus. They are typically located near the bottom of the bus, just above the wheels. Rub rails serve several important purposes. First, they help protect the body of the bus from damage when it comes into contact with other objects, such as curbs, guardrails, or vehicles. This can help prevent dents and scratches, which can be costly to repair. Second, rub rails can help prevent children from getting too close to the wheels of the bus, which can help prevent injuries. Finally, rub rails can also help reduce road noise and improve the overall ride quality of the bus. That is not entirely false. They definitely do help with the impact of other vehicles. They're built uh, uh, to help the structure, maybe not so much from something like curbs, but uh, you know, like actual vehicles hitting the bus. I'm personally glad that it didn't mention anything about the rub rails being uh, like locations on where uh, first responders can use to like if they need to cut open the bus or something because there's the the uh, picture that goes around or the rumor that goes around where it's you know oh right here is the floor and this one is the bottom of the seat and uh, it, it, it's not exactly true it, it's misleading I say let's ask it something very specific um, let's see what year did the ICCE school bus first get introduced? I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet to look up specific information on the history of school buses. My training only goes up until 2021. Um, okay, well, so much for that. Write an essay on the history of school buses. Okay, um, yeah, that, that's a pretty, that's a decent, like, very vague overview on the history of school buses, so, cool. What is the worst school bus? It is not appropriate for me to evaluate or rank school buses in terms of quality or performance. <laughs> I'll sit here and tell you what the worst one is. It's the f Starcraft Dodge. Tell me about the Starcraft Dodge school bus. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to provide information about specific makes and models of school buses. Well, thank God, because I didn't want to read anything on the Starcraft Dodge. Why do some school buses have two stop signs? Some school buses are equipped with two stop signs because they are designed to be used in different situations. Not really. The first stop sign, which is typically located on the front of the bus, uh, oh, okay, is used when the bus is picking up or dropping off children. When the driver activates this stop sign, it extends out from the side of the bus and starts flashing. This is a signal to other drivers on the road that the bus is stopping and that they should slow down and be prepared to stop as well. The second stop sign, which is typically located on the rear... Typically? I mean, unless we have the extended stop arm, but I'm not sure I'd count that as a second stop sign, but I could see how the bot might. It also extends out from the side of the bus and starts flashing. This is a signal to the children that they should not cross the road behind the bus until the stop sign has been retracted and the driver has given them permission to do so. Um, yeah, you, you never cross behind the bus. By using two stop signs, school bus drivers can ensure that both other drivers and the children are aware of the bus's movements and can take appropriate action to stay safe. So, not exactly true, not 100% not true there, but okay. Tell me about who makes school buses. Many different companies and manufacturers produce school buses. In the United States, some of the largest and most well-known school bus manufacturers include Bluebird, Thomas, and IC. These companies produce a wide range of school buses, from small buses that can transport a few dozen children to large buses that can carry more than 80 passengers. In addition to these major manufacturers, there are also many smaller companies and independent manufacturers that produce school buses. So, yeah, that's, that's uh, very true. How do you drive a school bus? Driving a school bus is similar to driving a regular passenger vehicle, but there are some important differences that require additional training and skills. 
To drive a school bus, you typically need to have a CDL with a school bus endorsement. This endorsement is obtained by completing a training program and passing a written exam and a road test. Once you have a CDL with a school bus endorsement, you can start driving a school bus. Before starting the bus, you should do a pre-trip inspection to make sure that the vehicle is safe to operate. Once you are satisfied that the bus is in good condition, you can start the engine and begin driving. When driving a school bus, you should always follow the rules of the road and pay attention to your surroundings. In addition to driving the bus, school bus drivers are also responsible for the safety and well-being of the children on board. Overall, driving a school bus requires a combination of driving skills, safety knowledge, and customer service abilities. With the right training and experience, anyone can learn how to safely and effectively operate a school bus. I feel like I'm not going to be able to like make videos at one point if I keep asking it questions um, about school buses. <laughs> Why is the StarCraft Dodge a terrible bus? You know what? I really need to like write an article um, in like the New York Times or something so that the the bot has the data that it needs to be able to like realize that the starcraft dodge is just a, a piece of junk and so that this ai bot can learn that how many school buses do you think have been made oh it's thinking it doesn't know how to, it has no idea how to respond right now. Wow, that actually, uh, that took it a minute to think. Uh, to come up with an answer, I might have stumped it here. It is difficult to say exactly how many school buses have been produced, as this information is not readily available. Additionally, the number of school buses in operation has likely <laughs> likely changed over time as older buses are retired and replaced with newer models. And then it goes on to give the uh, general, uh, I can't answer this question, but uh, it's really interesting that I, I stumped that for a minute and it gave me part of an answer, actually. So, um, that okay, cool. All right, so we'll, we'll ask you one more question. Um, I, I would love to ask it about the StarCraft Dodge, but it clearly knows nothing on it. So, let's try something different. Do you think people watch school bus videos on YouTube? Uh-oh, I might have stumped it again. <laughs> it is difficult for me to say whether people enjoy watching videos about school buses on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video or, or, you know, any of my other thousand plus videos on school buses. Um, you know, I, I assume that's might that might be why you're here. Anyways, I think that's a perfect place to wrap up the video. Um, let me know what you thought about this. Maybe um, if you guys have any questions you want me to ask this, maybe we can do uh, another video on this in the future. So uh, maybe throw those in the comments if you have a, a very specific question you think that it could answer. Jerry, what did you think about this? He just came in here. Jerry, did you have any idea? No? Okay. But yeah, I think that was super cool. It, it was fun to mess around with that and see um, the information that it was gonna spit out. It definitely knew the answer to some questions and I think it was just the more specific questions uh, that are definitely gonna be harder to find on the internet if you don't know where to look. Um, it, 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 they were a little off um, and weren't able to answer some questions, but that's to be expected and I, I didn't expect this to do a, um, like, like a perfect job, but uh, like I said, just, just really cool to mess with. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know why they put it down in care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or AI is going to start making all of my videos. And that might not be a terrible idea, uh, but it might also be. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.